Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Joseph. How is everyone doing today? So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to create a cylinder in Google Make 2016. Or SketchUp, whatever we want to call it these days. Um, so, what I'm going to do is first start off by deleting the usual things. And here I'm going to go to the shape function and cylinder. I'm going to zoom into the center here. Now, something to bear in mind is we're operating in a radius here, not a diameter. So if you want a diameter of, let's say, 100, you need to do a radius of 50. So that's just what I'm going to do. So you can see down in the corner, in the right hand screen, I've got 50 mil, or millimeters. And that is going to be a diameter from point to point of 100. So there's two ways we can make a cylinder. I'm going to show you both ways. So the first thing I'm going to actually really quickly do is I'm going to click once. Sorry. Once, twice, three times. So once we'll do a single highlight. And twice or three times we'll do a full highlight. I'm then just going to use the control key. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to show you that again. So I'm going to highlight the whole object, use my mover, click on my circle, and you'll see I get a little plus icon to let me duplicate. So I'm just duplicating the item, and I'm just going to move it away so I can show you both methods. Okay, so the first method is we're going to use the arrow keys again from what we learned. So I'm going to click on the pencil tool, and I'm going to find an endpoint here. I'm going to click on the endpoint. As you can see, it's a little green. And I'm going to move it in the blue axis. So as you can see, it turns blue. Or if I'm unsure, I can hit the up arrow and I'll move it up. And I'm going to make this 100 mil high, like so. So now what I'm going to do is rinse and repeat. So I'm going to click on each of the endpoints. I'm going to hit the up arrow and I'm just going to click and drag. And I can do this pretty quickly by just rinsing and repeating each step. Now, one of the things you may find is when you do this particular method on shapes, especially cylinders, if you don't get a finished surface up the top there, what it means is the surface itself isn't actually um, even. So each of these points, so each of these lateral points I create may not necessarily be even. And I'll show you that as well. So I'm just going to quickly... Whoop, well, actually, there's a perfect example. So you can see that one there is slightly higher. And in principle, when I finish creating this shape, we shouldn't actually get a top vertices because Google SketchUp won't know what to do with this shape here. So we need to tell it what to do with that shape. So if I do this, and as you can see, it's not, not super difficult. You do need to be just a tad bit mindful. And ironically, I... Let me just double check some measurements. Not beautiful. Okay, so you can see I didn't get a vertices. If I come back in here, though, and redraw a line, so you'll see now that I've redrawn a line, I get this little black kind of indicator, which is now set to the height I want. And as you can see, I now get a vertices. So that's a pretty simple, quick way to do it. The second way, which is even quicker, and it just depends the way or what you're engineering and what you're constructing, depending on what you need, you can use the push-pull tool. And you can see I can hover over surfaces here, and they highlight. So I'm going to hover over this one. I'm just going to click and drag it, and I'm just going to hold it. And I'm going to write 100 and hit enter on my number pad, or I can click and drag up to 100 and release. Just like that. Nice, quick, easy tutorial for today. I hope you guys are all doing well, and thank you for watching. See you guys next time.